Watch this chain lightning stuff. This is gonna be insane. Oh my gosh, just kill everyone there. That's sick. Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today I wanted to try out Defend the Rook, which is like a roguelike tower defense game, which is a very intriguing kind of, you know, a genre combination, and I'm really excited to try it out. So I just wanted to, you know, check the game out, give you guys my first impressions of it, uh, and full disclosure, I was actually sponsored by Goblins Publishing to make this video, uh, you know, just like staying transparent, but this is the type of game that I would be wanting to check out anyways. So we'll go ahead and do the tutorial here first, kind of see what we're looking at so this is the rook defended at all costs if it's destroyed the game is over okay gotcha um to move a unit um move it to any blue tile okay easy enough uh, orders a unit to do nothing until the next turn and then we'll end our turn here so he came running to us here uh we can click it okay so we have a ranged attack okay so we'll end turn he's gonna hit us tutorial wave of enemies is incoming okay I love the way this looks. Like, it's like a little board here with like a mage sitting over here or something. It's pretty interesting. So, okay, what do these people do here? The warrior at the end of your turn, adjacent heroes and contraptions gain three temporary armor, which lasts until the end of the turn. Um, if the sorcerer didn't move this turn, gain four temporary armor. Um, this is interesting. Okay. Um, and then the rogue at the end of your turn, if the rogue is on a disabled trap. So I don't think we have that. Either way, we're going to just move people to where they need to go here. So what's that? Their experiences are gold. I think we just kind of have everyone move, right? Um, oh, that's a ranged. Okay, so now can this... No, okay, so that's got a decent range too. And I don't know if we can see what they're going to do until they do it. So upgrade a hero here. Um, the warrior, if the warrior attacked an enemy last turn, they gain two temporary power. Um, oh, that's interesting, and three temporary armor. Uh, you get the sneak attack, the rogue has five power against enemies that are missing health, or soul twist. Killing enemy makes them explode, dealing five damage to adjacent enemies. Yes, please. That sounds cool. That sounds cool. So what, do we just end our turn here? Okay. What are we, what are we looking like here? Is this a trap? Or is this where I'm supposed to go, or... No, that's not a trap. Okay, so I don't know. I'll just end our turn. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. Order... Oh, we gotta wait. Okay. We'll, we'll just wait here. Give him the armor here. Okay, so we'll have you go boop. We'll have you go boop. We'll have you go boop. That did not actually kill. Well, that Okay, the, the rook thing is pretty far range which is kind of nice so we'll just have you hit there have that hit oh there we go have that hit that uh in turn sorcerer gains four temporary armor of standing next to a blocked tile uh the rogue gains one temporary armor every square they move if yeah we'll just do that one let's do that one we'll have our rogue kind of running around oh cannon tower so here's the tower defense stuff so towers can be placed on block tiles um, during your turn, they will automatically attack uh, at the start of your turn, and if destroyed, will be unavailable for the rest of that battle. So attack a target within range at start of your turn, long range, low damage. So, oh, literally one of the blocked tiles. Okay. Yeah, we'll put that right there. Um, switch target, switch tower to, t oh, targeting. Oh, that's interesting. Um, what is this good at? Low range, so I think we just wanted to have low health, right? Whoever's lowest health. Um, so we're gonna have you come over here. We're gonna have you attack there, which aren't you supposed to do the explosion or something? Why did you move to stone? Killing enemy makes them explode, dealing five damage. Oh, I guess no one was like actually adjacent. And um, we can't really do much, so we'll just. Oh, I shouldn't have moved actually. I shouldn't have moved. Um, we will. Oh, nice. We can fire over walls and stuff. Okay. That's, that's fine with me. There's our little tower there. The attack there. The attack there. Easy peasy. Okay. Four power went next to another allied unit. Um, the warrior heals for two each time they destroy an enemy. That's a good one. Okay. I like the upgrading the heroes. Enemies generally prioritize the closest target. Keep that in, keep in mind. Some may exhibit di different behaviors. So now we have an arcane tower and an emerald tower. So arcane tower, attack a target within range at the start of your turn. Medium range, medium damage, and then we have a short range, high damage one. Attacks all enemies. Okay. 
Well, let's do the medium range one here in the middle. And we'll have the Emerald Tower here. I don't really know where the enemies are going to be. Oh, see, they're in the exact opposite. So, um, Barricade prevents enemies passing through at the end of your turn. Taunts enemies in a two-mile two mile radius. Oh. Or two-tile radius, whatever. And then Freeze Trap, armed when placed. When an enemy steps on a trap, while armed, they take three damage and are stunned. The stables, the trap. Okay. Elites and bosses are not stunned. So, can I just put them over where they're spawning? Is that allowed? Uh, cause honestly, we're just gonna not move. Well, I guess we'll do some barricades here. This is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. Okay, ender turn here. <laughs> they just spawned on those archers. Dude, that tower then there. Got a wolf over there. That's fine with me. Um, okay. Well, we'll have the stealthy dude. Oh, we were, we were close. Actually, you know what? We're gonna have that finish that off there. We're gonna have you... Probably come over here. You... Can't really have you attack anyone, can Oh, wait. Why are you... Yeah, okay. Well, wait. Okay. Um, you can attack the wolf. Actually, I shouldn't have done that because those things were gonna do their shenanigans. Whatever. Oh, that was a lot of... That was a lot of uh, damage there. So we'll... You finish off there. You finish off there. Okay, okay. Uh, restore five health. Oh, their health doesn't, um... Okay, we'll just restore five health. Okay, so their health does not come back. That's interesting. Okay, that's a tutorial. Okay, you know what? That was, that was a good little... Good little... Oh, when enemies are defeated by your heroes, they gain experience points. And then we have a whole two power. Whenever you take health damage, gain four XP. Okay. Um, I kind of want this mage here. Um, yep, two power. That costed 15... Um, your attacks ignore armor. Oh, okay. Everything's in cost 15. So, um, gold is gained as you defeat your enemies. These points can be spent on improvements to your towers, contraptions, and rook. Oh, okay. What about our, is this our rook? Um, so what is this? This costs 10 gold. What's the first one? Just max health, max health, max health, move, health, health, health. Um, ooh, all your units gain max health. And then you get an aura stone, but let's, let's do the, uh, long range low damage well actually that's so much of health upgrades isn't the best are rooted by one turn yeah we'll, we'll work on we'll work on getting that i guess up that sounds that sounds to be an okay okay thing here so we've got another battle going on oh now we got spells spells from your hotbar can be cast on units each spell is a limited number of charges per battle so we just have deal three damage to an enemy that's interesting okay well, we're going to kill that. We're just going to do the little splash damage uh, thing. We'll have... Actually, let's go ahead and place some of these things here. We'll place the um, Emerald Tower there. We'll place the um, medium range thing here. Place the long range tower right here. Um, we're going to have you just wait. And... Oh, I don't have that much movement, do I? I could kill this, though. So I'll do that. And... We'll save everything else. Give units that have not been moved, too. Who, who hasn't been moved? Oh, yeah. I, I, I didn't want that person to move. Yeah. Oh, now we have Mighty Blows. Give a unit five temporary power and five temporary armor. We also have deal ten damage to all enemies. That's pretty good. Okay, well, um, yeah, do that, do that, and you know what, we're gonna go ahead and do three damage, little, little spell there, um, restore some health there, sounds to be like a good play, um, and turn, because I don't know where they're going to be, so now we'll just go ahead and freeze trap, we're gonna freeze trap, we're gonna freeze trap, um, we're gonna move our tower here and then we're gonna place some barrels here to protect our rook or whatever um, we're just gonna end our turn now at this point here I mean I might as well right at the end of every area is a boss defeating a boss causes all its minions to retreat and guarantees you epic 
upgrades before you move on to the next area. So we'll just static storm, right? 10 damage to all enemies. That's kind of... It's kind of pretty good. Um, so now we will... Give him 5-5 five, five temporary power. 5-5 five, five temporary power. 5-5 five, five temporary power. And you're gonna just... Oh, I didn't need to do that. That was so overkill. I just got two achievements. Yeah, I don't know if that should really work on the uh, tutorial, but, um, you know, that's okay, though. That's okay. Okay, so we did we did the tutorial here. Are you certain this is the right place? Worry not, your grace. The rook follows my commands to the letter. You should be quite aware of that by now. Of course. I did not mean to doubt your capabilities. They are nothing short of legendary. Then I trust you will have no issues with paying a suitable price for my services. A single barrel of gems should be enough. I thought that such mundane commerce was beneath you. I bowed my head into the mud and begged for your help. Is that not enough to show my appreciation? No, he wants money. That payment is not for my benefit, but yours. So that you understand the value of my gesture. I appreciated your humility. But that alone is not enough. Saving a kingdom will always require sacrifices. Be happy that yours is paid in gold rather than blood. You were right. Clever of them to sneak through the northern plains while your forces are occupied in the mountains. Too clever. I wonder if those pieces are enough. Do not doubt these legends, your grace. Their names might have faded from history. But their power is very much alive oh. within my tokens. You should leave now. Let me send you back. I prefer to work alone. Okay, okay. So let me just go back. I just want to make sure that this is... Okay, so this is the thing. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Um, your spells for the run, you may unlock more choices via spell upgrades. That's interesting. Unit loadout. Holy cow. There's, oh my gosh, look at all of the crazy stuff here. That's cool. Okay. You got all these different types of towers that you can eventually get and stuff like that. So I'm sure we'll, you know, unlock those, um, you know, in future runs. There's whole upgrades here. Um, oh, wait, we can do something. Unlock the hero's banner and alternate to the barricade. Unlock a common upgrade for the warrior, rogue, and sorcerer. So this is actually kind of more of like a roguelite, it seems. Um, okay, we're going to do uh, unlock a common upgrade for the warrior, rogue, and sorcerer. I guess. Um, I don't really know what that means. It's probably not going to be in here, is it? Yeah, no. Okay. Okay. Let's start. So, we start in the mountains here. Um, Az Azazes, the demon lord. Strengths, Azazes grows in power the longer he remains in battle. Uh, weakness, his underlings are disorganized and inexperienced. Azazes has recruited a horde of orcs, goblins, and their wolves to launch an assault against the Go Golden Kingdom. Vanquish the hordes so that you may uphold your bargain with the queen. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, so we have five different battles in at least this area. Okay. I recognize the floating castle, Ma Magister. To what do I owe this reunion? Squashing your pitiful invasion sounded like a respectable use of my powers. Azace, tell me what are you after now? Gems, my feeble conqueror. The kingdom is ripe with gemstones, and I will claim their power. Typical. I will not allow that, of course. Letting you pass would sully my reputation. Hmph. You should know by now I am unending. You will learn to fear me, Magister. I will force your eyes open. Okay, here we go. So now we're, we're, in, we're in it for realsies here. So let's go ahead and... Um, okay, so we have Bolt of Speed. Give a hero two temporary move. Uh, remove a block tile and replace it with a trap that deals three damage. Cannot be used in Occupy a tile. Cannot be used on an Occupied tile. Oh, so I have to do it on one of the blocks. That's interesting. Give all your heroes ten temporary armor. Um, okay. Okay. So we have the close range thing, right? Short range, high tower. We'll go ahead and put that there. Um, we'll go ahead and put the cannon tower, low range, high damage. We can put that there we'll put the medium one like right in the center there um okay can we kill um you know okay we're gonna give movement already here because i want to be able to hit yeah there we go that person oh i don't have the splash damage now that was a whole upgrade thing that i don't have okay that's fine um okay well we're going to put a barrel there then 
I don't want you, um, I don't know their movement. How do I tell what their movement is? Um, I'm assuming it's the blue. So he can move three, so he can move like one, two, three, and he won't be able to get to there. So now here, we're going all stealthy mode. We're gonna just, uh, I don't know, hide back here. Um, I for keep forgetting that our rook can attack, right? Oh, or can it? For some reason I was thinking our rook could attack, but... Oh wait, no, it's okay, it's like I'm... Oh, I have to... Oh, okay, so you have to like confirm what they're doing. Okay, wait. Okay, so we'll do that, and then can we fire? No, what's your range here? The range is four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So wait. And we'll have you start going here. We'll wait. And I guess we'll end the turn. He's hitting the barrel. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, whenever the sorcerer casts an enemy, or attacks an enemy, cast chain lightning. Your chain lightning now deals half their power. Uh, rounded down. So chain lightning applies all chain lightning effects, then jumps to the closest viable target that hasn't already been hit within a two tile radius. So we're just constantly chain lightning. Okay, you know what? I like that. I like that. I like chain lightning. That sounds pretty cool. So it's interesting that we do level ups in between the rounds as well. Um, so we'll go ahead and just, uh, you know, end the turn. Okay, yeah, that's right. So the, the sorcerer is the one, if the sorcerer didn't move, gain four temporary armor. Uh, and then he's just giving everything around him three temporary armor. So that's that's kind of what's been happening there. So uh, we're gonna just go ahead and wait here. I see. Actually, you know what? You know. Well, I guess I already committed to that. We, oh wait, I did I know where they were spawning? I probably should have. Ooh, there we go. Um, okay. Well, we can kind of just eat people, right? Oh, why can't I? Oh, remove a block tile and replace it with a trap. Yeah, let's do that. Because now we can actually have this guy come and yeet people, right? And then we'll use that to shoot. Um, we're going to... Oof. Yeah, we're gonna do two freeze traps here just to protect our rook there. Um, and we will... Yeah, go bah! Problem is... Actually, you know what, we can just do movement. Movement, can we kill? with us yet no we can't so we give even more movement there we go now we can kill <laughs> now we can kill um okay yeah it's found me and turn uh then we just go finish off sweet okay the warrior takes health damage for temporary power next turn uh, gain four power when next to another allied unit or the first time the rogue is attacked in a turn if it was a melee range They move back up to two tiles if possible after the attack. Let's just do revenge strike. It's pretty cool I like the concept of all these different like quirky like perks and stuff. Oh, there's oh There's a lot of waves. Maybe I shouldn't have been wasting these Maybe I shouldn't have been wasting these things. Oh snap. Okay. Yeah Definitely should not have been wasting things um Okay, we'll move the rook more to the middle here. Um, a little bit more there. Okay, I think we're in a decent position here. Um, I mean, I guess I could do some ice traps, but I mean, this is, we got a lot here. We got way more going than I was thinking, so. Um, wait a minute, why is our rook over here? What? I thought, I thought we moved you. Thought we moved you. Okay, we're gonna put a barrel there. Um, I think I want to give the movement here. Because I want her attacking. Oh man, I guess I'm not getting that, am I? Am I not attacking any? Am I not able to attack anyone here? I guess not. Kind of want to do the chain lightning stuff, but that ain't happening. So we'll we'll just do that. At least chain lightning triggers on itself. So we'll just we'll have our rogue kind of sweeping up here. Um. Yeah, seems to be the best that we can do here. They're attacking that barrel. 
I'm glad we actually had that, because otherwise that would have all been going on our rook. Okay, so now... Oh, I kind of... Oh, they, ooh, there we go. There we go. Get all that chain stuff going on. We can have our rook attack that. Um, I don't know if we can get to that other person. Um, and we can start making our way. Doesn't mean it's going to happen, though. He destroyed the barrel. How dare he? Um... Elite Slayer, when the rogue attacks an elite or boss, they deal an additional 10 damage gain. 5 temp armor. Yeah, let's do that. Or wait, whenever chain lightning occurs, arcane towers gain plus 1 temporary power. Do we have arcane towers? Is there a way right now to to see what we have? I guess not. Um, but We're going to go elite slayer. I think that could be good to just know that our rogue is, is for that, right? Uh, okay. Probably shouldn't have moved him. Um... We will put her right there and and him right here. And that's gonna and then I guess we'll move start moving over here. Okay, okay. Watch this chain lightning stuff. This is gonna be insane. Oh my gosh, just kill everyone there. That's sick. And then we just what can we eat you a little bit? Can that hit? Oh no. We didn't actually get it, but you know what? That's okay, because everything has armor, right? Yeah, you he didn't even take any damage, so get out of here. I'm not getting paid. You're not getting paid at all. Oh, more range, but less movement? Let's do that. I want to focus on our mage here. That chain lightning themes, thing seems sick. Okay. Um, picking a fight, you can't possibly win, idiots. Wow, rude. Rude. Yeah, we'll come a little bit more over here. Wait. Okay. There we go. There's an elite. Oh, we got two elites here. Okay, so we're doing some chain lightning here. There we go. Oh my gosh. That is so good. Okay, so now we're going to do an absurd amount of damage. I think we're actually going to decimate that thing just so we can actually come in here and do some damage. Um, where's our rook? Attack that. I think we're gonna do give all your heroes 10 temporary armor. Because they about to take some damage here. I know that. Oh, there was a guy over here. I didn't even... Okay, well, he'll, he'll die to our other stuff. Oh, he actually lost some health. Okay. Um, yeah, rogue goes there. You get that. Um, we cannot really attack. I guess we can get closer to it, but... Yeah, that extra movement thing, or the m less movement. This thing's just running. Interdimensional thief leaves after three turns, gives twenty-five gold when destroyed. Oh, I see what you're doing. Oh, I can kill you there. There we go. Chain lightning. Consistent casting. If the sorcerer destroys an enemy, they gain four power and one range next round. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, please. I just want to get her crazy. Okay, so is this the last wave here? Maybe? This is the last wave here. Oh, this is the boss fight. Okay. Um, does that mean boss boss spawning there? Okay, well, we'll do a freeze trap there. How about that? How about that? Um, yeah, I think this is, this is a decent positioning here. There we go. Do that. Um, oh, they're too far away, so whatever. We'll kill that. Um, do some damage there. Do a ton of damage there. Do a ton of damage there. Um, only problem is... He's going to do a lot of damage back, but that's okay. Yeah, five. Okay. So satisfying watching all the towers do their thing. Okay. We got the, I'm glad we have the elite slayer thing. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we're going to just clear the boss. That's what we need to do, right? Because that just wins us the game. Easy peasy. Um, bitter revenge once per battle if an allied hero is killed. Nope, we're not planning that. Uh, if the rogue destroys an enemy, deal his power as damage to another enemy within range. Uh, after you attack 
if the enemy has less health than three times your armor, they are destroyed. We'll just get the flintlock repeater. So yeah, I guess we'll have to see what happens to their health. These three, why do they feel so familiar? You may have encountered them when you were still alive in another place in time, which reminds me, you don't belong here, do you? It says, goodbye, Dillard Demon. Coward, you should have at least killed me with your own hands. Oh, so he was just getting more and more powerful. Luckily, we killed him pretty quickly. So, okay, now we'll go to the Icelands here. Um, Rather is known for his evasive tactics while boasting a heavy ranged artillery from his ship. Rather never strays too far from his ship. The queen desires an end to the conflict between the Golden Army and invading northern tribes. Their leader and inspiration, Rather is the king. Let's put an end to this war, Magister. So we can level up here. So, um, armor, movement, um... So anything that your attacks ignore, armor, range, gain one armor each wave until the end of the battle, increases damage radius by one. That's pretty insane. Um, uh, okay, we're going to go ahead and give us more movement here. Um, two armor, your attacks ignore armor. I'm going to get that. Um, and then we can only get really one more thing. So we're going to get movement for our guy here. That is all we can do there. What can we do at the shop here? We can upgrade our individual things here. Um, okay, what about the... Your tower's attack has chain lightning. Oh, that, so this is the medium range, medium damage. Um, chain lightning's cool, but I already have that, right? So maybe we do the long range, low damage. Um, yeah, let's do this. Deals his power's damage to the same enemy. That's interesting. Um, okay, so yeah, we'll incremental. So we'll just get some health. The rook gains an aura that gives. Uh, I mean, that could be cool too. But okay, yeah, just let's just buff up this this guy here. I think we want to commit somewhere here. Melting shot, complete. Remove the armor of enemies damaged by the cannon tower. Um, your rook gains two armor. Um, deals ten damage to each consecutive enemy hit on each turn. Or the what about the traps here? Enemies affected by the traps stun take three damage from other sources. You know what? Let's. Let's do that. I forgot that our thief can kind of re-engage those. So maybe we try to do that a little bit more here. Um, max health, max health. Enemies that attack your barricade cannot attack, cannot move next turn. Okay, let's... Oh, we don't have enough gold. We were just almost able to do it. Okay, let's start the battle here, though. Let's start the battle. Magister, there's another threat. The northern tribes have marched into our lands, no doubt to take advantage of our casualties. That is most peculiar. The tribes have kept to themselves for almost a hundred years. Why attack now? Or perhaps they too see an opportunity to acquire our gems. I'm sorry to ask this, but it appears I will acquire your services a little while longer. Warrior, those gems worth your lives. Okay. So. Um, let's get our... Long range one. He. I don't know. I'm assuming. Let's do here because I'm assuming there's going to be a ship coming from somewhere over there. Um, we'll do the medium range one. Um, here. We'll have the emerald tower short range one there. Okay. Oh, there's a guy right here. Oh. Okay, then. Um, okay, I guess we'll just attack. We'll kill that thing. Um, honestly, I think we're going to just wait. And he'll buff up a bunch of other stuff. Oh, they're already... Oh, wait, I just realized. Yeah, they're already... Uh, they're hurting our peeps. They're hurting our peeps. Um, okay, cool. We can kill that. And then we'll have... Um, your sorcerer... Gains plus three temporary power and plus one temporary range at the start of the next turn whenever they take armor damage. If the rogue does not move on a turn, gain eight power and two move on the next turn. Um, if you have armor remaining after being attacked, deal... Okay, yeah. Armed spiked armor is good for you. Like him, I, I like him as like sort of an armor, you know, type thing. Move this a little bit more in the middle. Got to protect the uh, things a little bit better here, I think. Um, okay. Um, nothing is too away. 
Um, so I think we just end turn, get everyone some armor here. Ooh, elven assassins here. Also, what are they on right now? What What is their targeting? Low health. Low health. Yeah, that's probably what we want them to do. Unless medium. I can't remember if we had what we had done. Completely removes the armor of enemies. I think at this point now, this is the one with low. Yeah, we probably want this one on the strongest, right? Removing the armor or armor. There we go. I'm assuming that's going to do what we want it to do. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and start trying to kill people. I guess is what we should be trying to do, right? Um, and anyone I can actually get low here? Actually, yeah, I could do that. And then I could have that attack that. Easy peasy. Um, we're in a little bit of a peculiar spot, but that's okay. I don't want to waste my things. Oh, he lost a lot of health. Oh, she lost a lot of health. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I gotta be a little careful here. Gotta be a little bit careful. Um, Restore nine health. Uh, yeah, let's do that. After the warrior attacks adjacent, enemies take six damage. That's really good as well, but I need my people to not die. I don't really know what happens if they die, so... I would rather not find out, right? Rather not find out. So here's the new wave. It's just uh, a big guy there. I'm gonna move you a little bit more over here. Um, yeah, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and do a frost trap there. Um, and. Yeah, I'm gonna wait on the barrels too. I'm gonna wait on the barrels. Oh, that's still hit. Ooh, dang. Oh, that guy's, oh, that's an elite. So we need our guy to go do some damage over there. Okay. Okay. Um, well, in that case, um, we'll have you finish off that. Um, we're gonna give you the movement speed that you need here. Um, he doesn't, his attack doesn't like remove armor or anything, does it? Um, no, it just, um, okay. Yeah. We're going to have you go in there. A bunch of damage. We're going to have you come and do a bunch of damage. We're going to have our Rook do a bunch of damage. And then he, if he just, when he ends his turn. Yeah. So we'll have some armor here. I mean, they're going to take a little bit of damage, but that's just the way it be. Unless we barrel, right? Um, taunt. When does it apply taunt? At the end of your turn, a taunts enemies. You know what? Barrel. Attack that barrel, dude. You know you want to. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Nice. Get the kill there. Uh, your chain lightning deals now two damage to enemies. I like that. I want to commit to this chain lightning thing. That is, I think, the coolest thing, honestly, about this. Is the constant... Um, yeah, the, the constant upgrades. That's pretty sick. Pretty sick. Um, now they're coming here. Um, let's do a barrel right there. Do a frost trap there. Um, I'm gonna move... Actually, no, yeah, he'll still be able to get... Because if he doesn't move... Oh, yeah, he gets, like, extra movement, too. That's what we decided on, so... Um, we'll move you up, though. That's what we will do. Okay, well, you want to know what's awesome about this? Watch the chain lightning. Boom. Boom. That's pretty sick. Okay, then we can finish off that. Um, we can have... Ooh, this is... Why do you... What? Why do you got so much health here? Or, I don't know. Because hopefully he will attack... Okay, I think we're okay. Nice, tack the barrel. Barrels are pretty cool. I don't know why they are dumb enough to, um, you know, attack a barrel, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. 
Um, I don't want that barrel to die just yet, so if I do that, I need one, two, three. I need like three movement speed here, so that's actually not going to help me. Um, I think we're just going to end our turn. That barrel's still up. Um, killing an enemy makes them explode, dealing five damage to adjacent enemies. Yep. Or the extra range. That could be good, too. But I just, I want my mage here. The mage is so freaking cool. Um, we're going to move him a little bit more there. Keep him there. I don't want him moving. Um... How do I tell if a freeze trap is active or not? I'm assuming that means they're not. Um, okay, we'll probably want to save the freeze trap. Um, let's just go ahead and... I'm going to move a little bit closer here so he can actually protect my thief a little bit there. Okay. There we go. Kill that. Um... I want you to go here and then attack. I want you to go here and then attack. That's a sniper. I don't know who they're targeting. Prioritizes moving to an empty blocked tile. Okay. Oh, this is actually this is an interesting position to be in. I'm going to actually move my rook back. Oh, wait. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I guess... Oh, wait, what? He? How did he? Oh, yikes. Did we just lose a tower? Or was that a barrel? I don't remember. I think we lost a tower. Or no, we didn't. Oh, wait, yeah. Uh, yeah, we lost our cannon tower. Okay. Okay, then. Um... Oh, this is this is rough actually. This is rough. I gotta I gotta do the armor here. Uh, okay. That's because that's not gonna kill at all. So stop destroying my towers. Um, okay. There we go. We can kill. Um, give me more health on her. She's she's kind of my best person right now. I have him more in the middle. Think, yeah. He wasn't next to anything, though. Okay, boss wave. Oh, wait. Can I not? Well, we'll do another one there. Another frost trap. Okay. Uh, move him up. To move him up because he's all tanky, so I will die before I see any of my people fall. Oh my, okay. Well, um, let me do some lightning stuff. We can finish off that. Can oh, can we not? Can I give it movement? I cannot give it to the Rook. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, we'll have you finish that off then. And we'll have you do that. Um, wow, that's all we can really do. I mean, we can do a trap here. Let's put two traps around you guys. I don't think that's going to help us much, though, but... Ooh! Oh, well, it's going to just keep doing that crazy stuff. Okay. Well, chain lightning here. Glad I have that. Um, I guess we just... I, I need to use my rogue, though, on the boss. That's what needs to be happening here, though. Um, I mean, that's, that's all I can do here, so... Oh, that's nice. Okay. Yeah, I just... Uh, Okay, chain, chain lightning coming in clutch here. 
Um, okay, you know what? Here, I'm gonna give the movement there. I need you to actually focus on killing that. And movement here. There you go. Now you can do a bunch of damage here. Though he might take a bunch of damage. I don't know. Though he keep No, he just keeps moving. He keeps just moving around. So Archer here now. Oh my gosh. Chain Lightning is so good. Um, nope. We're coming back for you. We're coming back here for you constantly. Uh, give some movement there. So I would, oh, I can't even destroy these things. I mean, in that case, we just try to kill the boss then, right? Because we're about to take some mad damage. Oh, never mind. Oh, that this is a chain light. Oh my, look at this freaking chain lightning here. Look at this chain lightning. Oh man, that's satisfying. Okay, so then we can move there. Ton of damage. Move there. Ton oh wait, I forgot I've had the rook the entire time. I probably could have killed, but whatever. Whatever. Uh, let's just keep killing things, right? I mean, killing things gives us uh, money and gold and cool stuff, so. Um, okay, sweet. Get out of here. I wonder if I could have just farmed those as long as I wanted to. Um, these seem rare. Once per round when the sorceress destroys an enemy, they can make an extra attack? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I don't even care. I'm just, I'm putting all my eggs in that basket. She's so good. It is regrettable that it has come to this, but savagery must not be tolerated. The northern tribes will hopefully cease their advancement and disband. Those men and women fought bravely, yet desperately. I hope they can return home and think on peace. I will command my soldiers to escort the northerners uh, back to their home. You did well this day, this uh, this day, Magister. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. So the next one would be uh, Mushroom Glade, Fungal Rock, Strengths, a hazardous ecosystem that will explode upon death to take out any invaders of the Glade. Weaknesses, mindless fungi are prone to damaging each other. So the queen urges the Glade is a threat to the kingdom. She tells you of a creeping spread uh, that cannot speak nor reason. It will lead to yet another ongoing war. Force back the creeping spread, which will infect the queen's land, Magister. Oh, okay. So first of all, let's, let's level up here. Um... <laughs> I kind of just want to invest into that, but I know that's probably not the case. Then you turn, give heroes, uh, yeah, temp armor. Oh, you can only take one or the other. I just realized that. Um, extra health, heal to each wave, armor. The first loot upgrade each battle is guaranteed to be a rare. Rather do one of these. Uh, give me, give me more range. Give me more range. Let's go. Okay, so now we have the um, shop here. Um, let's go ahead and get the uh, sticky wood. Enemies that attack your barricade cannot move next turn. Um, uh, probably, yeah, now these things actually having more health is pretty good. Deals 10 damage to each consecutive enemy hit on the same turn. That seems pretty good. Um... What is this? Uh, tower attack. You know, we'll get some chain lightning up in here. Um, now what do we want? So we have the first upgrade. I don't feel like we need the aura. Um, if there's no enemy in attack range at the start of your turn, pull the closest non-elite or boss enemy to an adjacent tile if possible. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna work towards that. I'm not gonna get it, but um, that seems that seems pretty freaking sick. That seems pretty freaking sick. So. Um, I think this is a, a pretty good stopping point. Um, I wonder if I can, yeah, save and quit here. Yeah, this is this is a pretty interesting uh, game. I gotta say, I really, it's got a lot of really cool, satisfying things, like the constant upgrading of your units. Obviously, the tower defense aspect is really, really cool as well. Um, so overall, gotta say, uh, very much liking this game. Uh, and, uh, you know, really, really like it. So if you wanted me, uh, to make more videos continuing this campaign, uh, definitely let me know in the comments down below, uh, if you want to see a part two to this series, uh, I would love to make another video on it because, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see how this game goes, excited to see how the progression works and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, let me know if you want to see more, uh, and, uh, Goblins Publishing, thanks for sponsoring today's video. Um, uh, you know, really helps, you know, continue, you know, just make the content even better and stuff like that.
like that, um, you know, without sponsors like them, uh, you know, wouldn't be able to do what we're doing. And also, it's cool because we were going to play this game anyways because uh, it seems pretty cool. And I love tower defenses and roguelikes and this does not disappoint. So... I uh, really hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, video. Consider subscribing, ringing that bell like all the big boy YouTubers say to be notified uh, if we make a part two on this series. Uh, and if we do, it'll be on the screen right next to me. And uh, if you're going to be grinding out some Defend the Rook on your own, then I wish you guys luck and see you all next time.